So today we will be discussing about how we can ingest and process our data on Google Cloud Platform. We will be discussing what services that Google Cloud Platform offers us for ingesting our data and how we can process our data. So we will be covering both the aspects whether it is a batch mode or a streaming mode. With batch mode our I will be covering that if we have a historical data how we can ingest that data and how we can process that on GCP and also I will be covering in this how we can ingest the streaming data a real-time feeds basically on the GCP platform so I'll be covering both of this both of these aspects in this video so first let me give you a high overall architecture like what architecture and what all services we will be using so let's move ahead so what our problem statement is so nowadays most of the enterprises are migrating their data from different cloud providers and GCP to GCP and Google Cloud Platform is really picking up the market and more more enterprises are now planning to move their migrate their data to the Google Google Cloud Platform. So, so that's why we have picked up, picked up this topic and we'll be discussing how we can ingest our data into the Google Cloud Platform. What will be our solution approach? So we'll be using Google Cloud Platform to ingest all our data and then we'll be seeing what all services that Google provides us. We'll be covering both the aspects that I already told you about the real time and batch loads. So first of all, let's throw some light on the services that we'll be using in this uh, in this project while making our data pipeline. So first one is this Cloud Composer and Airflow. So earlier it was Airflow. It, Airflow was an open source project for scheduling workflows, for basically for scheduling and orchest orchestration. But after that, Google found in, find interest in that and they and they have taken that project and come up the, with their own service in GCP that is Cloud Composer. So Cloud Composer and Airflow is basically the same thing. So second thing that we'll be utilizing in this project is Google Cloud Storage. That will be used for storage and archival. Google Cloud Storage is similar to uh, S3 buckets in Amazon S3 or Azure Blob Storage in Azure. So we can create a bucket in Google Cloud and where we'll be storing our data. PubSub, PubSub is uh, Real time ingestion is used for real time ingestion. It is similar to Kafka. We will be covering what is the differences between PubSub and Kafka in later uh, in next videos. But we will be utilizing PubSub, which is offered by Google Cloud Platform for real time ingestions. Dataflow. So Dataflow is one of the very good service for massive computations. If you want to do massive computations on our data, like if we have say that petabytes or terabytes of data and we want to come apply computation on top of that data so data flow is used for that it has many advantages under the hood I mean it can auto scale from based upon the throughput of the machines and also it is very cost effective because till the time the VMs are on only for that particular time we will be getting charged so that we will be using for our batch and for streaming pipelines for computation basically it is used BigQuery BigQuery is like a data warehouse where we'll be storing our structural data as we have hive in Hadoop ecosystem so similar way we have BigQuery in Google Cloud Platform and Dataflow is an alternative to Spark so GCS for or Google SDK so this Google SDK we'll be utilizing for transferring of our data from our different machines let's say we have a Linux machine or we have a machine where we have our data and we want to transfer it to Google Cloud Storage. So how we'll be transferring that data to the Google Cloud Storage. So I'll be covering that aspect in this video, in this project, utilizing Google SDK. Now Data Studio. With Data Studio, we'll be, util we'll be seeing that how we can visualize our data that is stored in BigQuery. Uh, we will be seeing that how we can create charts and graphs utilizing Data Studio. Now coming to Apache Beam, so let I, like I already told you earlier that we will be using, utilizing Dataflow for our computation stuff. So Apache Beam is an orchestrator for Dataflow jobs. So Apache Beam can support Spark backend as well as well as Dataflow backend. Apache Beam is a kind of orchestrator where we can have separate compute and separate storage. storage. That is why it is being used and Dataflow jobs only work with Apache Beam kind of pipeline structs so that's why we will be seeing that how we can build our pipelines data flow jobs in ut utilizing Apache beam and the programming language that we will be utilizing for all our coding stuff that will be Python 3.7 so now 
what data set that will be utilizing for ingestion is we'll be utilizing yelp data set that is easily available and free to download from online resources we, we, we will be utilizing that data set for our streaming pipeline as well as batch pipeline for streaming case we will be i will be writing a script wherein we will be uh, reading that file and sending all the data one by one to a topic to a pub sub topic and then our subscriber will read that and will process that accordingly we will see that how we can do that in our data flow job as well so data set will be yelp now coming to the solution design what solution design that we will be utilizing for catering both our batch pipeline and streaming streaming loads so we can see on the left that we will be having yelp data set json stream this is what uh, we will be i mean we will be pushing our data from a file to pub sub topic and then using google cloud pubsub our data flow job will read will read our messages from the cloud pubsub and then it will process those messages and store it in the bigquery if we see on the top we can see that we have a source which is yelp dataset json stream then it pushes to the pubsub topic and our data flow job it subscribes to that pubsub topic and then based upon the volume i mean based upon the data set that we have on pubsub our workers will automatically auto scale and then it will store the, those data into the bigquery and similarly if we see on the downside we have uh, data set files json files that we have in our local system and we'll be utilizing cloud sdk or gcs fuse so we'll be utilizing cloud sdk over here for this project cloud sdk we will set up cloud sdk on our machine and then using utilizing that cloud sdk we will transfer the data to the google cloud storage these are buckets and then our data flow job comes into the picture for batch for batch processing it will read from google cloud storage and it will based upon the data it will auto scale and descale based upon the throughput of the machines and then it will store into the bigquery so all this process all of this process i mean from running of data flow job we can schedule this data flow job based in the airflow or cloud composer so we'll be we'll be i'll be showing you how we can schedule that in a cloud composer i'll be showing you how we enable cloud composer in google cloud storage in google cloud platform and then i'll be showing how we can set up all that all those jobs how we can schedule that in composer so that we'll be covering in this overall project and after that once we have our data in bigquery we will be saying visualization on top of it using the google data studio that is very well integrated with bigquery and we'll see that some basic visualizations like graphs and charts utilizing this data studio so that was all quick snapshot that what we will be covering in this project thank you